Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Kill Tiger Coming back at y'all with another video, man. If y'all made it this far, man, if y'all motherfucking been rocking with your boy for the past two months, three months, four months, five months, six months, a year, two years, three years, four years, because I've been doing this shit for a minute. But if y'all been rocking with y'all boy for so motherfucking long, man, I truly appreciate y'all niggas. Every day I wake up. I say, damn, let me go check up on my niggas, man. Damn, let me go see what's to my gang. Damn, how they doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, I be wanting to chat with y'all in the comments, and I do. I do chat with everybody in the comments, man, because I want y'all to know, like, I see y'all. I fuck with y'all. Y'all fuck with me. We fuck with each other. You know what I'm saying? But today we got another reaction, man, and today it's going to be one of those robbery videos, man. Store robber shows why you need to practice your stands. Let's get it, man. We're gonna see a serial violent criminal get his comeuppance. Hi everyone, welcome to today's lesson here at Active Self Protection. I'm your host, John Correa. Today's video comes to us from Philly. Today's video is brought to us by Mantis. The Mantis family of products is integral to ASP staff building handgun and carbine skills and are your most economical and fastest path to improve your beard or use them all them out, pick up a unit and thank them for sponsoring today's video. So the guy in the green jacket that's just walking in here has just been on a huge violent crime streak. He uh, carjacked a guy and then wasn't involved in a double shooting and had another armed robbery. Then he comes to this place and you saw the clerk kind of ask him to, to show his full face when he came in. And so he does and the- Wait, yeah, hold on, that shit is a little- Look, look, goofy. I'll pick up a unit and thank them for sponsoring today's video. Ooh, look, so the guy he looked goofy like he on some shit. I ain't gonna lie. Guy in the green jacket that's just walking in here has just been on a huge violent crime streak. He uh, carjacked a guy and then wasn't involved in a double shooting and had another armed robbery. Then he comes to this place. And you saw the clerk kind of ask him to, to show his full face when he came in. And so he does. And the clerk's definitely worried about him. Now he leaves for a minute. He's about to come back. We actually have audio of what happened from here. So let's listen into it. Wow, are you serious? I, this shit dumb already, bro. I ain't gonna rob some shit that you just shut. I'm not top that, bro. You gotta be the most dumbest shit ever, bro. Like, I hate when niggas be this damn dumb. Like, dead ass, bro. I hate when niggas be this. Like, if you're gonna be a criminal, be smart about this shit, bro. Like, how the fuck you gonna come back in this bitch with the same clothes on? <laughs> same mask on. And then you showed your fucking face. What a fucking idiot. Oh my God. So let's listen into it. His dumb ass. Yeah, I might be wondering why I'm looking like that. But this is the face of. Are you fucking serious? Because how dumb you got to be, G? You just came in and put your max off. Then you try to get on this nigga. He talking about, what did I do? You over there. How you going to say, give me the money? And you just put money in that bitch. Not only that. You know it in that, I mean, anybody should know it ain't no thousands in that motherfucker for it. may be some hundreds and I know thousands in that bitch. And while he over here distracted, he taking his ass off the, the clerk. And that's how his ass got his ass popped at. You, you, give me your money. Hey, 
from the clerk's perspective here, you can see he actually already has the gun in his hand. He, this guy has him super worried for quite some time, even though I don't think he knew about the... Shit, he de hey, dude was definitely on it though, I ain't gonna lie. Prior, you know, criminal streak that this guy had. So then you're gonna see him start shooting at the guy, have a malfunction and clear it and shoot at him a whole bunch. They did, none of these shots hit anybody, but they did end up catching the perp. He faces a host of charges. Okay, yeah, we 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 gonna run it back, y'all. Okay, I I kinda get why he uh digging on the ground. Cause the the, the thing the uh I don't know if this glass I think that's plastic. But he could have shot through the plastic too. I, I don't know if he knew that, but I'm a, I'm gonna be real with you. <clears throat> I'm gonna be real with you niggas, man. If you shooting if you shooting at a target, an object, whatever, and somebody's either behind glass, behind a wooden door, behind a brick wall, behind whatever the fuck, bro. Worst case scenario, you could you could shoot through anything. Real talk, nah. It ain't I'm telling you may hit that motherfucker, but some shit like this, I feel like he would have he would have been able to hit him for sure. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. About the prior you know criminal streak that this guy had, so then you're gonna see him start shooting at the guy, have a malfunction and clear it and shoot at him a whole bunch. They none of these shots hit anybody, but they did end up catching the perp. He faces a host of charges related to the armed robberies and carjackings and shootings. Hey, that's amazing, right? As soon as he faced armed resistance, that guy bugged out of there quick. Let's talk about it. First, I do think it was a good idea for the clerk to make this guy show his face, right? Now, I want to see your whole face, man, because again, a full mask in today's world with, you know, your head covered and all that stuff is definitely a pre-attack indicator. Uh, and, and we're seeing that more and more. And, and listen, this guy has been on a long crime streak, but, but of course our clerk didn't know that. And so that's not entering into the equation. He's just being very kind of vigilant here. Now l let's think about what goes down here as, as far as this one beginning. Now the guy comes back and pushes him in. Now the gun is out and showing to everyone what is going on with that. Now I want to say the clerk decides to fire at the guy. I think that's hundred percent good. And notice though that he completely missed and he missed from a distance of what like three or four yards tops no facts i don't know but like i said i don't, I don't know how the fuck he missed that bro he probably was scared but that that shit should have struck his ass that does happen when you don't aim your firearm well but it does induce fibsa fudge i'm being shot at the problem with fibsa and again it worked some right it got this guy to kind of move out of the way and, and be gone but it doesn't affect the guy as much as you think it should. Obviously, if you put a bullet in a vital area, that's fibs, fudge, I've been shot, and that's a different kind, because what you're gonna see here is, is that makes him start moving, but he gets his gun back up and he keeps firing. Now, thankfully, his shots that he fired missed, but, but the thing about fibsa and why you wanna put that first shot on target is he's very unlikely to get any good shots off on you. It's usually the first person that puts a shot into an anatomically significant area that wins. So you gotta hit that first shot. The biggest thing you gotta do is hit that first shot. Now let's think about the clerk here. I, you know, this is one of the reasons I just don't like having a gun kind of at the place like this and, and hanging out behind the counter is because it's far better here to have that gun on your person. And even if you have your hand on the gun in its holster, now you don't have to worry about where do I put this gun? How do I access it? Can I step away over to this other place? Is this the best place for me to be? if you've got the gun in a holster on your person, which is why I'd far rather you have that as well as know how to get out quickly from that hand on gun kind of position. And then if you don't end up needing it, you just take your hand off the gun and it's an easy day. Now, once he decides he needs to shoot this guy, and I, I agree 100% he absolutely needed to shoot this guy. You should have pulled up the fucking pants, man. What the, what the fuck, man? <laughs> what the fuck, man? I, I want you to notice that he does so with really bad technique. And, oh, yeah. and, and this is why he missed, right? You saw him actually kind of dive low and left as he grew. Bro, y'all don't remember that? Oh my God, do y'all not, do y'all not understand this nigga ain't right now, bro? Hold on, bro. Y'all not, y'all not know where he get that aim from, y'all? Y'all not, just pay attention to that, bro. Just pay attention to that, bro. Just pay attention to that, bro. I'm gonna show y'all where my boy get this aim from, man. I'm sure where my boy get the aim from, man. 
Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Y'all got, hey, look. Hey, look, I'm a genius, bro. Y'all can't tell me that ain't that. Y'all can't tell me that ain't that. Bro. Ripped his whole hand, and that's why that bullet missed him. Me. But some of that is because I don't think he's really thought through, hey, if I have to, have to actually use this gun the way that this counter is set up. Man, I can't get past that, bro. Look, I'm not tweaking. He thought he was trying to get bang, you know. That's the same shit, dog. That the, the access port, you know, through the counter is lower than my line of sight. So this is a place where you might want to learn something like kneeling shooting. This is probably if he was still sitting down in that chair where he could have seen from that spot. Facts. So knowing how to shoot from those odd shooting positions, really good. Now then, clerk ends up having a malfunction and I've slowed it down here so you can see it. And he ends up clearing that malfunction. Now I'm going to tell you, I see this all the time. People end up having a user induced malfunction in the gun or something like that. And, and then I, I see people in real life, they eliminate the tap and the tap rack reassess and it works for them. And I, it's, it's worked for them every time except for one that I've seen on the channel. I'm not saying you gotta change your doctrine for that, but I am saying that when your gun goes puke, you will wanna clear it as fast as humanly possible to get it back in the fight. Far better to vet that firearm very carefully and know how to use it well so that you don't induce malfunctions in the gun. Now you notice here, he ends up in that kind of kneeling position I will say I don't love this idea of kind of blind firing around the corner or firing the gun where I'm not looking down the sights and I don't know where that bullet is going. I get it that he's scared and, and I'm not faulting him for that at all. But of course you're endangering other people and your chances of getting a hit are nil. Basically what you're doing here is you're emotionally firing and using the gun. Basically what he was doing was showing blind, man. You know what I'm saying? Which, I mean, it's a gas station. Yeah, that shit about to happen. But... That's it for this video, man. I hope y'all learned some lessons, man. We gone.